don't want to get a shot. Okay. So it's day three, the elk aren't cooperating. Dad's gonna start off glassing where we usually do, and Nate and I are gonna head up to where we were last night. There's a bunch of elk sign up there. The problem with that area is there's just not a whole lot of area where it's, they're killable, meaning there's a lot of cover. And if that doesn't work, Dad's gonna head over and meet us, and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, elk drive, which is hard in this big country. And then we'll end the day, kind of we'll do a one big huge loop and we'll end the day where we're dad starting this morning. So it's gonna be a heck of a day. Um, taking some of our Midwest traditions. Generally, <laughs> it won't work, but <laughs> we gotta give it a shot, but we'll see what happens. Well, we got, we worked. The area we wanted to work this morning, saw some fresh sign, didn't see any elk. And uh, got to where we're gonna meet up with dad. and He's gonna walk through this valley that is behind me and see what see if he can push any elk we got our plan we're gonna split up probably won't work just being real but we're gonna give it our best shot instead of just sitting around on our butts there's only so many days a year you're in the elk mountains Is he out of sight for you? I'm gonna shoot when he gets on the other side of that tree, okay? Okay. I'm on it. I don't wanna get a shot. He's below. Oh, there it is. Should have just stayed right here. Because when he was behind the tree for you, it was a perfect shot for me. I had a perfect shot. It feels like amateur hour. You can have all the best equipment, be in the best place with rugged terrain, with animals around. And it still didn't happen. So I, the first time I stopped him, he was behind a tree for me. The second time I stopped him, he turned his front shoulder to me and at 500 yards I didn't I just didn't like that with his shoulder to me and then the last time I pulled the trigger but uh, forgot to put the safety off I'm so upset at myself it happened like really fast I looked over and saw him and I don't know without looking at the footage it probably in less than 60 seconds he was getting ready to be out of vision didn't even have time to get nervous it wasn't like I was nervous I was just I just forgot to turn the safety off. Unbelievable. So that bull, like dad's down here, that bull just happened to walk to us. And I don't know how he didn't hear dad, but he literally like almost exactly took the same path Nate and I did as we were coming here. He just came around that side hill coming into this basin and I just happened to look over and see him. I'm just thankful for a father willing to do that for me. Um, he's uh, hiking about 800 feet of elevation straight up, and then he's going to come over into the next um, ravine. That's raw right there. And then Nate and I are going to be lower, uh, about 1,000 feet at that time, lower than Dad in the ravine. Yesterday, the bull was bugling yesterday morning, and if he's still there, Boy, we got a really good shot. This is a, we got much better odds here at this at this push than the first one. So, meow. I don't see it. Meow.
going downhill. I, I can't fathom it. He was facing away from us, but he had turned. So he was quarter and a heart away. And he was turned looking at us. So I hit him on the... My sight picture was I hit him on the shoulder. I shot. Wrecked the next shell in and then um, couldn't see him because he was like... I mean, he was standing in pines that were eight foot tall. And so it was a kind of a miracle we even, I, I mean, it was a kind of a miracle I had, a, I got a shot. And, um, I wish I would have been seeing where Nate was, because Nate could see him. Um, I couldn't see him with the angle. And he was moving real slow. Yeah. So I knew I hit him. I knew he was sick, but he was standing right on a lip. And you know that I might regret this, I don't know, but, um, way he was reacted to the shot that he didn't just take off right away and he looked sick I wanted to get to that edge to look down to try to get a second shot or visually see him so I snuck up there as much as I could didn't see any sign of him I didn't want to spend too much time because my thermals were going down towards where he could have run so when I was coming back I found blood so we've got blood no I hit him which I kind of knew that already Guys, big game hunting is it is such a roller coaster ride. The emotional high when you see the animal, get the shot, then the follow up can be just as low as low can be in any hunting experience. And we're we're in that low right now, but we just spent the last 45 minutes just looking for any sign of blood after the initial 30 yards from impact. And Nate just found it right before dark here, right at the creek, the seep crossing. So, hallelujah, that's like a 150 yard gap from the last blood. And we knew there wouldn't be a lot of blood because it's a, it's a hit that's, a, because it was quartering away so bad that it's high in the side. So it probably entered the guts, went right through the liver, right through a lung. And this is a big bull, so he could go that 150 yards like that no problem but now now we got his track and there's if he stays on that main trail starts going uphill gets sick he could be just right there 100 yards from us dead so that's what we're praying for and and uh that's kind of the the update where we're at i know casey's gonna lose a lot of sleep tonight along with his dad but uh just the diligent and nate seeing that blood save the day right now from my perspective my spirits are way way higher now that we got that trace of blood there right right before dark so way to go nate <laughs> yeah i had that bitterness of the humble pie wash out of my mouth and then you're like super excited and then you're like man it could be an even more bitter pill to swallow yeah. This would be worse because more than likely that bull's dead and it's a big bull. And yeah. That's yeah. that's worse than just forgetting to turn the safety off and the bull keeps walking. <laughs> All right, let's get some rest. Get a meal. Get back here first light. Yep. Get after it. <laughs>